I have got some dinner prep stuff for you. I'm Elizabeth Alfano. Okay, I am gonna make three bean minestrone. And as we go, I'll be talking about just how great all of the ingredients are for you. Now, I'm gonna start with, because everything does start with, onions. Um, I had to kind of get started before I saw you guys, just because I wanted to get my soup simmering. So I've got a big pot here already. So I've already got the base of my soup. So what I've done is, since I don't use straight oil, I don't need to, I've got things like mushroom broth and vegetable broth, I put some vegetable broth in the bottom of my pan and I put in some onions like you just saw me. I already put in garlic. Oh, garlic. And one of the things I love about garlic is I get up my frustration when I chop garlic. So there's already some garlic in there, but you know, you'll peel this and chop this and add it in. So I've done that. I'll just uh, peel and chop a little bit, but it's already in there. Like I said, I've got a good healthy start already on my soup. So just put in a little extra. Um, not all minestrones call for zucchini, but I like zucchini and I love it in Italian dishes. And again, we really want a hearty Italian soup. So why the heck not? I've already put in some yellow zucchini. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little bit of, just a little, cause I've already got some in there. Go like this, I chop my zucchini in fours. Give myself a little zucchini. I hope everybody's feeling okay. Corona, 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 Corona. That's all people are talking about. Okay, I'm not the best chopper in the world. We already know this. Uh, but there is no rhyme or reason here. All you really want is, this is why I love this soup. You know, lots of soups like it. You just really want all the fresh vegetables you can handle and just throw them in a soup. So sometimes I talk to you guys about my very favorite meal, which is a garbage bowl. I go in my refrigerator and I see what's about to go bad and I, bad and I say, okay, this is going over rice with some avocado and hot sauce. So that's one of my favorite ways to roll. Uh, that's kind of what this is. It's like a garbage soup. Look at this carrot. Oh my gosh, is this a Bugs Bunny carrot or what? Um, okay, so this is gorgeous. I've already washed this. I'm gonna hold on to this because it'll probably be a garnish at the end or who knows. Okay, so I'm just going to um, put some extra carrot in, although as I say, I've already got carrot going on in my soup. Um, and my soup, I'm gonna give it a stir because I just want to make sure that everything's coming together. I already put my celery in. Uh, and I put these in too, I just chopped it right in. Uh, so I'm not chopping celery at the moment because I've already put that in. But so, so far we've got onions, garlic, carrot, yellow zucchini, regular zucchini, and celery. And I put that in with some vegetable broth and that's stirring and simmering. Once you do that, add, because you want to feed a bunch of people. And even if you don't have a bunch of people to feed, you want to freeze this soup. So you want to make gobs of it. So I've put in two cans of tomato crushed tomatoes, uh, which is great, and a little bit of tomato paste. Potatoes. Now, not all minestrone recipes will call for potatoes, but like I said, I had a couple extra. They were already boiled, so they're going in my soup. Um, and these are not purple potatoes, they're red potatoes, but I do like to have purple potatoes around all the time as well. Are you ready? Now, if you talk to Dan Butner, Blue Zone's fame, and I've already interviewed him. We love him, don't we? Oh, how we love Dan Buettner. Uh, Blue Zones, in case you don't know, is the study of the people on the planet who live the longest. Um, and Dan says, the healthiest people in the world have at least one cup of beans a day, and those people who have a, a cup of beans a day extend their life four to five years. Now, fast forward, a month later, after interviewing Dan Buettner, I interviewed Dr. Michael Greger. In fact, that interview from my radio show, The Elizabeth Alfano Show, which, oh hey, is the only plant-based radio show on the nation, so I hope you tune in every Sunday at 3 p.m. Central Time. Of course, you don't have to be in Chicago, just play WCGORadio.com or say, hey Alexa, play me WCGO. You can do that Sundays at 3 o'clock Central, which is 4 o'clock Eastern and 1 o'clock Pacific. 
Uh, so fast forward, I interview Dr. Greger on my radio show, and Dr. Greger says, oh, I see Dan Butner's one cup of beans a day, and I raise him a half a cup. So according to Dr. Greger, you want a cup and a half of beans a day to be one of the healthiest people on the planet. This recipe has three beans. Okay, so now, I always, as you guys know, I'm gonna get out my beans here. I always, as you guys know, save the liquid from the beans called aquafaba. I always do that because I can make a salad dressing out of it later. So I, I do have all the measurements for this recipe and it'll be on my website, elizabethalfano.com. All right, now I'm moving on. This is, these are my favorite beans of all, butter beans. Please don't tell me you don't know what butter beans are, or please don't tell me you haven't had them. They're the best beans in the world. I don't know why I like them, but the taste is so different and they're big. I mean, that's part of, <laughs> I have a big appetite. Yeah, that's part of the reason I like them so much because they're so big. But um, I'm saving the liquid from the can. Do about half of that. Okay. Put them back in their can, maybe that's the thing. Okay. Now, I'm moving on to my last one, garbanzo beans. And I will say that the liquid or the aquafaba from the garbanzo beans, that really does make the best salad dressing. So uh, instead of using extra virgin olive oil, I use the liquid from my can of garbanzo beans. So you never want to get rid of this. It is always, always, always considered liquid gold. So, all right, I'm gonna use about half of these garbanzo beans and save the rest, because great in a salad. You know, you never want to get rid of your beans. That would just be crazy. So this is an Italian soup. Did you think you were going to get away with no pasta? No, you knew better, right? So I've already made my pasta. Now here's another tip. So we got lots of tips in this recipe. First of all, if don't have junk food in the house, but always have vegetables. Because if you have vegetables, then you'll eat them. You'll, you know, use carrots or celery with guacamole instead of chips. I mean, just have your vegetables ready. Try to get a cup to a cup and a half of beans, and I really mean legumes. So chickpeas, lentils, beans, these kind of things. Try to, try to have those in the house and try to do that once a day. Never throw out the aquafaba, the liquid from your garbanzo beans specifically, but even the other liquid is kind of good. You know, you can saute with it instead of olive oil, very good. And then finally, the real big tip in this Italian recipe is when you read the directions and it says like this one does, 14 minutes to boil pasta, it's a lie. I hate to burst your bubble. Do not ever follow the directions on the pasta box. I mean it. So if this says 14 minutes, I boiled my pasta to nine minutes. Why did I do that? Because now I'm gonna heat it up again. And so if I cook it to 14 and then I heat it again, it's gonna be overdone and nobody likes, it's, an, it's offensive overdone pasta. Yowza, you see that? You see how big and hearty it is? It's really like a stew. I might have to add a little bit more tomato, crushed tomatoes to make it more liquidy. So I have Italian parsley, Fennel. This recipe calls for a lot of fennel. Fresh fennel. I've got mint because mint is great for all recipes. I've got lots of mint here. A couple, two different kinds of mint actually. Mint from the store, which is kind of your classic mint, and mint from my garden. Very special mint, at least special to me. And then I have rosemary from my garden. Now, because I'm trying to get as many dark leafy greens as I can, because, oh hey, have I told you? I'm a Food for Life instructor for the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. So of course I'm gonna try to get as many dark leafy greens as I can, and I'm doing that right here. So I'm probably adding more of the Italian parsley and the fennel than most recipes would call for, but that's okay. That's, that's where the good stuff is. Okay, folks, that is minestrone. So hearty, so hearty and so much going on. Bye everybody, thanks for being vegan. Please check my radio show this Sunday, 3 p.m. Go to wcgoradio.com or Alexa. Just say, hey Alexa, play WCGO. And uh, it's the Elizabeth Alfano Show.